Take it easy, Cardinals. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs>
Now that looked like a lot of fun. And at the end, they learned that much more about each other. On the topic of theater, the performing arts students are producing a new musical. Let's go see what they're Little up to. Women is about a family of a lot of girls. There's four sisters, and they all try to get through life, and they each find their own paths on their life, and they find their own way to live and find happy moments and bad moments, and they just thrive. Four women growing up with each other in like a household. Joe is the main character, and she's like writing stories, and she tells one of the stories, and then they grow up. These four sisters who go on this great journey through life, and it's run over like a course of years. It is a story of um, family and hardship and overcoming a lot of different struggles within um, the show itself and just within life in general. So. My favorite part about being in Little Women is the people in it and how strangely uplifting it is. Growing with the family, like we have such a big community. And we all get to build off of each other's strengths. Being able to perform with all of my friends. Probably the music, it's just so incredibly beautiful. The cast, they're all so amazing and everyone's doing so well. My character is Theodore Lawrence III, but everybody calls me Lori. I can play the piccolo, I can sleep standing up, and I once won a medal at school for holding my breath nearly three minutes before passing out. I can't tell you who my character is, but I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> Sister Secret. Uh, my character, character in Little Women is Clarissa, and she is the female lead in Joe's novel. Um, I play Beth, who is the second to youngest March sister and who is the main character Joe's best friend. It's an authentic experience. It's a story about family and love and loss and a lot of relatable topics that everyone goes through in their own way. It gives you a new perspective on family. It's a really classic story and it's we've all worked so hard on it. My favorite part about Little Women is how it can touch a whole bunch of different people, no matter what kind of person you are, what kind of life you've had, there's always something that someone can connect to no matter what. Hey Preston. Hey Griffin, how are you bud? Good, how are you? I'm good. Hi Jacob. Hi. Why do you shave your head? So I shave my head to show support for these kids who um, battle, ca battle with cancer um, and just to show solidarity with them because, you know, it's not their choice as to whether or not they go bald, but it is our choice as to whether or not we support them. And so I try to show my support and solidarity with them by raising money and shaving my head. Honestly, I shave my head because I just love helping out in the community. I love, um, just love helping out in the community and giving back to people that really need it the most. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you, Griffin. St. Baldrick started uh, about four years ago when my granddaughter was diagnosed with cancer. She, uh, it was a week before her 10th birthday and uh, they found a lump uh, on her throat, took her to the emergency room and they decided that it was uh, a tumor about the size of a dinner plate. It was crushing her windpipe and uh, they put her in a helicopter to fly her to children's in Aurora and told my daughter and her husband to tell Cheyenne goodbye because she probably wouldn't make the flight to Aurora from Colorado Springs. So that was probably one of the worst days of my life to get that news. But anyway, um, she has finished her cancer treatment a year ago and is doing very well, so we're really happy to tell you that. 
but uh, we got involved with St. Baldrick's because St. Baldrick's asked Cheyenne to be uh, one of their um, representatives mm -hmm. for a year. And so an ambassador, I guess is the word. And so that's how we got involved. We started going to St. Baldrick's events and uh, found them to be very touching to the heart. You always walk away with tears in your eyes watching people get up there to shave their heads. And so uh, we started it here. Uh, this will be our third year and we are very excited with how everybody um, comes together for this amazing event because childhood cancer research is so important. So many kids uh, are diagnosed with cancer too. I mean, every two minutes a child is diagnosed and one in five of those kids will die within the first five years of being diagnosed with cancer. So we feel very blessed about Cheyenne, but want to do what we can do to help other kids. Well, that's all we have today, Cardinals. And don't forget, Hunter's Legacy and Brave the Shave will take place on February 28th. And don't forget to donate at Danny's window. And don't forget to attend these events. Take, take it easy, Cardinals. Cardinals.